Yo, yo, how's it going? Slum Music here. It's been a minute since I posted anything. Um, I'm just going to make it real quick. Let's make this force right here more compliant with the interface or the mixer. I'm just going to run through exactly how I got it set up. Make this video really fast. Well, fast as I can. So, what I got going on here is I have a I have my interface down here, right? I have an 18i20 has um, 10 outputs or whatever. It has multi multi outputs on it, right? So what I did is, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your force, and then you need to connect that connect your interface with the USB directly to your force. Once you have that connected to your force, you want to turn on the 32 in and 32 out. Once you have that turned on, now your force will read the interface. So now you're able to send your 32 tracks in and out. So now you got that running from the USB straight to the force. Um, everything should everything should work. Other than when you go into Ableton right here, we're going to make it so you can actually record all this stuff right into Ableton. So what you're going to want to do is when you go into Ableton, you're going to want to set up these mixer tracks right here. Put them all external right here. It all depends on whatever mixer that you have. You're going to want to line those up all the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All the way down. Then after you do that, um, you want to arm all of them so they, they're ready to record. And then you want to put this on monitor in on every single track. You want that on monitor in and pretty much on Ableton, that's all set up. As long as you got all your tracks from your mixer routed in there, one through however tracks that you got, um, the, the force will be able to send out the 32 outputs directly from the force or whatever interface that you have. Um, the interface, the more outputs that you have, the better it's gonna work for your mixer. So what I have is I just ran eight outputs out of my interface with the with with the cables, quarter inch cables. So out of the eight outputs coming out of there, let me show you the back of my my task cam. Out of the eight outputs running out of the interface, they're going into the 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 10 channels so the way it is is I have one through eight I have one through eight going in there and then on nine and ten instead of instead of doing those um, where it's actually nine and ten on the bottom right here top and bottom you just run one cable from the top only and that's going to give you the stereo track for 7 and 8. And then the other one's going to give you a stereo track for 9 and 10. So then you got all the tracks running through 1 through 10. Okay. We're going to step back over here. I had to move a couple things to, to make all this stuff right here um, so I could show you this. All right. So... Once you have that set up, I'm going to play this beat right here in the force. I have a beat in here. Uh, you see the clips right here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, play, play the clip. As you see, they are hitting on every single channel in Ableton, right? Stop it. Now, what you're going to want to do is adjust your volume and stuff like that. Um, I set every single channel on the mixer right in the middle. 
you can adjust your EQ on there. It will record that into Ableton or Logic. It, both, it works in both softwares. So once you have that like that, you have your beat, and then I'm gonna switch over my screen. You can record this directly into a clip if you want to, and then you can put the force into um, controller mode, and then you can go ahead and mix it that way or you can just mix it directly from the fours right into the your arranger or your your um, logic. So what I have right here is that's the arranger for Ableton. And I have my beat right here. So I'm going to start the beat back from the beginning. I want to go right here on to um, Ableton Live Control. When you go to Ableton Live Control, when you hit the record button right here on the bottom, you see I didn't record any clips in there at all. There are no clips. I mean, I can record what I did into these clips. They will go directly into Ableton as a clip. You can just record eight bars of it, and then you can start mixing your beat like that and in live in live control mode. This is gonna save you guys a lot of time from exporting your stems because you, the way that I'm doing this, you, there is no need to export your stems because you can just record it right into the software, okay? Using your 32 outputs. This is gonna make it so now you can use your 32 inputs and outputs and you can run it directly into a DAW. See, the problem is, <clears throat> The way Akai had it showing on the videos was you take your, your Tascam Model 12, just plug the USB in there in, from the Tascam directly into the force. Okay, so when you do that that way, you lose all your connectivity from your, your computer, your Mac or your, or your PC. So then you can't listen to YouTube or none of that stuff coming through your mixer because your mixer is connected directly to your force. The way I have it connected is I can still listen to YouTube but not, I'm, I'm writing all this stuff out and everything's going right into the DAW. It, it, you can record it. This will route into FL Studio, um, Ableton, Logic, Cubase, whatever software that you got, this is gonna work for it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to the force right here. You see, as you see right here in Ableton, I have everything armed to record. Now, I can hit, I can record everything. Like once I want, if I want to record everything in the clip, I could just hit the um, the launch button all the way up in the corner right there and just start recording the clips. But I don't, I'm not gonna do that on this session. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It all depends how I feel. But today, just for me to make this video short, I'm just gonna record it directly into the arranger. So as you see right here, all my tracks are armed. They're all um, red, they're all, they're all ready to go. I have them all on monitor in, so it's gonna read every single output coming out of the mixer. Now the way I did it was everything on every track, it says external in, and then you wanna set up to whatever channel that you're gonna route these out to, like one through 10 or however you got on your mix. If you got that, the Tascam 24, route it out to 24 tracks. And there you go, on your force, you can route 24 audio tracks directly out of your force into Ableton Logic, FL Studio, whatever software you wanna use it for. You don't have to have, you don't have to use Ableton um, live control if you're gonna use like another DAW or something like that because you're gonna run this directly in there. But in my case, I'm running it into Ableton today. So I'm gonna go right here to the arranger and then I'm gonna go right here on the force and in I'm in the live control screen right here. This is the live control. That's my mixer, whatever. And then on the live control, I'm gonna hit the record button. Once I hit that record button, 
I can go back to my regular um, mixer or uh, clips or whatever I have. I'll show you right here. I just open up the mixer. And that's in standalone right there. So in standalone, it's gonna record in there. If I stop any clip, it's only gonna it's gonna stop inside of Ableton. So now it's only gonna record that. I can bring the other track back in right here, and it's just gonna bring that in. As you see, I can change it up. Alright, so I just recorded that in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I can go right here in live control, hit the record button one time. That's gonna disarm all the record buttons. Ableton just did a, a update. There used to be a button here, you could just click that and then it goes directly to the Ranger, but now there's a button there that says set. And I, I've been, I just barely noticed that today, but I'm, I haven't really figured out what, what that is. So I'm just gonna set all these channels that I just recorded on, just put, instead of having on, on, mon, on monitor in, you, you, you can still record this on monitor in, I mean on auto. You should be able to record it still on auto and everything should still record the same. But I just like doing it on monitor in so I know if I decide to record it in a clip, everything is already in monitor in, it's gonna record on the clip. Now, this is what I just recorded right there in the Ranger. So I'm gonna hit play and it's gonna play back what I just did. I think I need to um, hit stop right here on the, I need to hit stop on the force because I have it set I have Ableton set to have it on um, start stop sync, but it's gonna play right here whatever I have inside whatever I have inside the arranger. I'm just gonna mute all these other tracks that I have in the forest so they don't play. And here it is right here what I recorded in that ranger. I just threw this here in anywhere. So that's what I just recorded right there in the arranger. So this is a really fast way to record your your audio directly from the forest and you're going to use all you can use all 32 tracks output coming out of the forest this is better than using four tracks so right here you, you're able to use all your audio using the standalone with the with the 32 in and 32 out and it's going to record it in there the way you record the input is just pretty much just hit record and whatever that you have selected inside of your mixer, it's going to run right back into there. It should run right back in there. I, I tried it earlier today with my mic and um, it did work. But this is the way you set it up. If you just want to have all 32 outputs coming out of your force running into any DAW of your choice, this is how you do it right here. You want to take, I'll repeat how, how exactly how it's set up so you can set this up. You want to connect your interface. You got to have a multi-channel interface that got multi-outputs. Connect the USB from there straight to the force. Turn the force on to activate the 32 in and 32 out. On the back of your interface, route your outputs into your mixer. Once you route that into the mixer, the mixer should be connected USB to your computer. 
and that's how you're going to send the signal directly to your computer. The only one that's connected to the computer is the mixer, and the interface is not connected to the computer. It's just routed straight from the forest. Now, if I was going to route my, my MPC through all that right there as well, only thing I need to do is just take an output from here and stand alone and route it into the mic inputs on the force right there and then select a, a track and it's gonna route right on through there and just send it to whatever channel that you want it on. And it's gonna be, it's gonna go through the, it's gonna go through the interface, right to the mixer. Next thing you know, everything's gonna play. When you hit start, when I hit start, everything's gonna play all at once. I mean, I probably, I can't probably hit play right here on my force. So you see when I hit when I hit stop on the force or I hit play it takes a second for it to catch in because I have it set to Ableton link. You got to have all your units set to Ableton link and then you want to make sure you turn on the start stop sync. Once you turn that on, all your units should play at the same exact time. Um if you're using the mixer and you're gonna use Ableton control on there, if once you hit control on Ableton, your force is also gonna start playing and it's gonna make your MPC play, whatever else is gonna play as long as you got the start, stop, sync set on. Well, this is Slump Music. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in again today. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Now you, you're able to route your 32 in, 32 out to any of your preferred DAW. I, I, I say this is the correct way of connecting this because the way that Akai had it set up is not accurate. To me, it isn't because once you, once you, once you set up your USB running out of the mixer into your fours. Yeah, you're going to get the 32 in and 32 out, but you're not going to have any more connectivity to your to your DAW. And you're not going to be able to listen to YouTube and sample and do all the other stuff that you really want to do. It's, it's like you're cutting something out to just use that right there. And that's not worth it right there for me. So um, I developed my own system of how to do this. And pretty much you're routing... You're going to connect the interface directly to the force and then you're going to route the outputs from your interface going into the mixer and connect your USB from the mixer to your computer. And then once you set up the routing and everything inside your, your favorite DAW, everything is going to go right in there. Well, this is Slump Music. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. If you really like these channel. And you want me to do more of this stuff because I haven't did it in a really, really, really long time. And I got a lot of other things that I've been working on um, that's pretty helpful to you guys. But if you guys like to see this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button and I will make plenty more videos that can help you out. If anybody have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll talk to you guys soon.